of the 70-odd cases in which I have, during the last eight years, studied the methods of my friend Sherlock Holmes, I find many tragic, some comic, a large number merely strange of the 70-odd cases in which I have, during the last eight years, studied the methods of my friend Sherlock Holmes, I find many tragic, some comic, a large number merely strange, but none commonplace. For working as he did, rather for the love of his art than for the acquirement of wealth, he refused to associate himself with any investigation which did not tend to unusual. unusual. And even the fantastic. Of all these very. was made at the time from which I have only been freed during the last month by the untimely death of the lady to whom the pledge was given. It is perhaps as well that the fact by the untimely death of the lady to for whom I have the reasons to know that there are widespread as well rumours as, as to the death the of Dr. Grimesby Roylott, for I have reasons which to tend to make the matter even more terrible rumours as to the death of Dr. Grimesby Roylott, for I have reasons It was early in April the year 83 that I woke one morning to when Sherlock Holmes, standing fully dressed, it was early in my beside my eighty three that I woke one morning. He was a late riser, as a rule, and as the clock on the mantelpiece showed me that it was only a sign of my eighty seven, I blinked up. He was a late riser, as a rule, and as the clock on the mantelpiece showed me that it was only I was myself regular in my I blinked up. He was a late very sorry to knock you up once and have on the mantelpiece showed but it's the common law. I was myself regular. Mrs. Hudson has been knocked up. Very sorry to knock you up once and have on the mantelpiece showed but it's the common what is it? I was my fire. Rick, Mrs. Hudson no, has been knocked out. It seems that, that, that a young lady has arrived in a considerable state of excitement. What is it? Who insists that Rick, Mrs. Hudson has been knocked out? It seems that a young lady has arrived in a considerable state of excitement. What is it? Who insists that Rick, Mrs. Hudson has been knocked out? It seems that a young lady has arrived in a considerable state of excitement. What is it? Who insists that Rick, Mrs. Hudson has been knocked out? It seems that a young lady has arrived in a considerable state of excitement. What is it? Who insists that Rick, Mrs. Hudson has been knocked out? It seems that a young lady has arrived in a considerable state of excitement. What is it? Who insists that Rick, Mrs. Hudson has been knocked out? It seems that a young lady has arrived in a considerable state of excitement. What is it? Who insists that Rick, Mrs. Hudson has been knocked out? It seems that a young lady has arrived in a considerable state of excitement. What is it? Who insists that Rick, Mrs. Hudson has been knocked out?
observe that you are shivering. It is not. You must have started early and get a ticket. Harm of your left love. You must have started early and get a ticket. Harm of your left love. You must have started early and get stared in bewilderment, my companion. You must have started early. There is no mystery. Stared in bewilderment, my companion. You must have started early. There is no mystery. 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 There is no meal, no disposition, and the family ruin was eventually completed by a gambler in the days of the Regency. Nothing was left save a few acres of ground, and the two hundred year old two hundred year old house, two hundred year old house. But his only son, my step his only son, he must adapt himself to the new conditions, obtained an advance from the rest of the which enabled him to take a medical degree and went out to Calcutta, by his professional skill character. He established a large practice. In a fit of anger, however, caused by his perpetrated in the house, he beat his native butler to death and narrowly escaped a capital sentence. 
As it was, he suffered a long term of imprisonment and afterwards returned to England, a morose and disappointed man. When Dr. Roylott was in India, he married my mother, Mrs. Stone, the young woman. Not less than a thousand a year, and this is the queen who got a royal on the car while she was out. Seeing that father, but which is itself crushed under a heavy mortgage. The last squire dragged out his existence. He was killed eight years ago in a railway accident near Crewe. Seeing the event of our marriage, which is itself crushed. Seeing the doctor royal officer. Seeing that the son
hiding about that approaching rain. At 11 o'clock she went to meet me. After Paul was kept the door and looked back. Tell me, Helen said to me, have you ever heard of anyone who was sold in the dead of night? Yes, I said I. The wind was howling outside, and the rain was a wild splashing against the wind was howling outside, suddenly amidst all the hubbub of the wind windows, there burst forth the wild amidst all the hubbub of the gale, there burst I knew that the wild scream of a shawl round terrified woman. I knew that it was my sister's voice. I sprang from my bed, wrapped a shawl round me, and rushed in.